on the next Fresh Air. When kids would say, Mr. Buck, uh, how do I get into broadcasting? Start smoking. Joe Buck didn't follow this advice his dad, Hall of Fame announcer Jack Buck, gave to other kids. But Joe did go on to become an Emmy Award winning sportscaster himself. He has a new memoir. We'll talk about his good luck, his childhood, and why he thinks some fans can't stand him. Join us. Listen to Fresh Air at 7 o'clock tonight. It's on right after Marketplace on 90.1 WABE. I'm Amy Kivey with this look at the roadways. I-85 on the north side, northbound, near Jimmy Carter Boulevard, has a disabled vehicle. It's blocking the right lane. Traffic is getting through there at about 13 miles an hour, so it doesn't seem to be slowing down things too much. Georgia 400 northbound near the perimeter is going quite slowly, but not with an accident. Eight miles an hour in that spot. Again, that one is Georgia 400 northbound, right at the perimeter. No accident, just slow going. This warm weather will continue. In fact, it's going to get a bit warmer. 50 will be tonight's low, then tomorrow's high will be 69 degrees, mostly sunny then. 53 tomorrow night. On Friday, we could see a temperature of about 71, maybe even 72 degrees. This is 90.1 WABE. It's 550. From NPR News, this is All Things Considered. I'm Audie Cornish in and, Washington. And I'm Kelly McEvers in Culver City, California. President-elect Donald Trump's pick for Secretary of State spent all day on Capitol Hill. At a time of strained U.S.-Russia relations, Rex Tillerson was asked some tough questions from senators in both parties during his confirmation hearing. Tillerson, until recently, was CEO of ExxonMobil. He had extensive business dealings with Russia, ones that some senators say would pose a conflict of interest if he's confirmed. Democratic Senator Jean Shaheen of New Hampshire is a member of the Foreign Relations Committee, and she is with us now. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Nice to you be raise, with you. Thanks. Uh, you raise concern that Tillerson might be too soft on Russia, given his business history. And today, Tillerson said he saw the value of U.S. sanctions on Russia, even if they got in the way of ExxonMobil's business deals. He says if confirmed as Secretary of State, he'll have a, quote, frank and open dialogue with Russia. Do you now believe he can be tough on Russia when it's in the U.S.'s interest? Well, I was a little concerned about his evasiveness on um, whether to pursue additional sanctions on Russia um, for their attacks in our election process. Um, yesterday, I, along with uh, a number of other my colleagues, including Senator McCain and Senator Cardin, introduced additional sanctions legislation on Russia for their interference in our elections. And, and he, really, um, he really was hesitant on that. So I, I think we, we still have...